Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the new support hero, Juno. I've got her abilities on the screen right now. Feel free to pause and read through them if you'd like, but we will get to see them in action in this quick play game that I've got coming up in just a few seconds here. Unfortunately, the recording of my first time playing Juno was lost. <laughs> so we're left with watching gameplay where I'm tired and have a massive headache. So I am truly so sorry for the horrid gameplay you're about to watch. Um, I honestly just wanted to post a video talking about this new hero and giving my opinions on them. So going through her abilities first, um, between her double jump, hover, glide boost, the, uh, the left shift, I think her movement is so much fun. Uh, then you add her E, the hyper ring, on top of that, and you get a fast and fun character. I really like the torpedoes too. I was a little bit worried that they were going to be like stupid strong um, damage wise, but they feel pretty good. Um, they don't seem too overpowered. I mainly find myself using it either as just a little bit of quick healing uh, or to finish off low HP targets. I'm not really a fan of how you use the torpedoes. Uh, I personally just don't find right clicking than left clicking a comfortable way of doing it. I would rather hold right click to lock on and then let go to send them out or right clicking to lock on and then right clicking again. But that's just a personal preference and I'm sure with enough playtime that'd be an easy thing to overlook. I will say I'm glad the ult doesn't do damage to enemies. I think it's a very strong heal and the damage boost is a nice touch, but I would lose it if it also did damage. <laughs> um, as far as the ult, I find myself using it primarily for engaging fights or as a quick save the team ult like transcendence or beat drop. Uh, a couple of cool things I've noticed while playing is that there are areas where you can use the environment and essentially wall climb with her shift. Uh, and I think that's really cool. You're not totally limited to strictly horizontal mobility. Uh, and I'm really excited to see how creative people can get with that. I've managed to find a few spots. Um, some of them I can do very easily, very reliably. Um, very consistent, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, others, I'm not sure if it's just I'm not doing something correctly or what, um, but some spots have seemed a little trickier than others. I don't think I did it too much in this game, but I did on first point. I was trying to get on top of the wall. Um, the sign in the middle of the point almost got me up there, um, but all of the ledges and pillars on that point are curved in a way that does not help. <laughs> um, and then I think I tried the archway like twice, but I just don't think that that space is like thick enough. Not sure. Anyways, uh, another cool thing that I noticed is with the torpedoes, if you don't lock on to anything and cancel the ability, the cooldown is halved, which is a small detail, but I think is a healthy thing to have. Um, I found that out by <laughs> pressing my torpedoes right out of spawn uh, for my first game, just on accident. But yeah, I think that's just a nice thing. Uh, as far as what supports play well with her, uh, I honestly think most of the supports can play really well with her. Um, 
I feel that she benefits from a support that can peel so that she can use her abilities for the team rather than just for herself. She does have high mobility, uh, but it's not too hard to chase her down and punish her after she's used them. I think some of my favorite support duos so far has been uh, Anna, Brig, Lucio. I think those are probably my top three at the moment. They felt the best, uh, at least while I was playing Juno. As far as what I've played with Juno, I actually really liked Mercy. Um, not that she's incredibly strong, but uh, between Juno's mobility... <clears throat> But between Juno's mobility, uh, and in that game I had a, a very mobile team, um, I felt like I was untouchable. It was so fun just flying around and, and nothing could get me because I've got my Juno over here and my ball is over here and I have a Tracer sitting over here and it was, it was a good time. Speaking of teams, I'm very interested in seeing what sort of team compositions she gets played in, uh, and if we get to see her form a new meta next season, I think that would be really exciting. Um, honestly, anything to get away from Mauga, Mauga v Mauga. My friend and I mainly talked about two ideas, uh, those being brawl or dive. Uh, we were thinking. You know, you could run uh, Junker Queen, Lucio, Juno, DPS don't super matter. Um, and in between those three, you're just running laps around the enemy team. And with enough coordination, I don't think you'd ever have to walk again. <laughs> I've also heard some people talk about running a dive composition where you'd split your team into two groups and use Lucio Juno speed to play for a fast pinch, and I love that idea. I honestly, I'm a fan of just bringing back dive. <laughs> Even if Juno's not in the in the comp, I just I love dive. I think dive is really fun. But all of that to say, I think Juno is really really fun, and I'm super excited to see how she shakes up next season. Unfortunately, I don't have too much else to say, and there is maybe about two minutes left of the video. Watch it or don't, I'll be honest. We lose, it kind of sucks. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching, take care, and ciao for now.